What do you think about born again virgins? Are you a born again virgin? I'm now? definitely not a born again virgin. You're not. You can't, you can't be a born again virgin. <laughs> <laughs> that is, yeah, not possible. Not possible. You can't. You can't regain your V card. Oh no. But so, what made you leave the porn industry, though? Very good question. Um, it was <laughs> largely a frustration of not being able to speak my mind. Okay. In case you can't tell, I'm I'm a lot more right leaning okay. in like my beliefs and, and my opinions, but politically and like socially, and the entire country is like all left wing. Really, it's, it's based out of California. It's all like okay. it all very much resonates with that whole like um, agenda, propaganda, whatever you want to call it. Mm-hmm. So like <laughs> there was there was lots of instances of of I'd be on set. This is actually a perfect example because it was during like the Trump era, mm-hmm. right? I'd be on set, and I was very pro-Trump at the time, uh, and t- until the Vax stuff happened, and I'm like, ah, this guy fucked up. Yeah. But basically, um, you'd be on set, and like my co-star would be super feminist. The, literally, all the women are feminists, by the way, mm-hmm. which might sound ironic, but they are they're all 100 percent feminists, and they'll okay. all they'll all say they're feminists. Uh, well, not 100. Well, that makes women. sense. It's egalitarianism. We can do what men can do. Yeah. So, okay, yeah. that does make sense. Yeah. That's a good way of explaining yeah. it. Yeah. Yes. And so. Uh, you know, they they come on, they'd be they'd be bitching and whinging about Trump or something, and in the back of my head, I'm like, yes, nice one. Like <laughs> <laughs> he nailed it there, and I can't say shit. Then you're right. <laughs> so, but would then, you be blacklisted or something? Hundred percent. I would I would have not got work instantly. Okay. Instantly. Have you said anything? Anything. Really. Hundred percent. Okay. And the moment I decided I'm getting out of this industry, I actually went, I went on and tweeted some like red pill stuff, mm-hmm. and the very next day I was cancelled. Bam, gone. Like no more work. Agent called me up. He's like, what the fuck? What are you doing? What did you tweet? wasn't even that big of a deal. I tweeted, the big one that got me like mega canceled was, if she calls herself a queen, a princess, a brat, or a bad bitch, she's probably not relationship material. Okay, I mean, that's basic. Yeah. Yes. That's like, that's Thank like, you. Like, yes, uh, that's obviously. pretty, that's pretty like, it's that's basically, like, basically, don't date a narcissist. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. It's narcissism. <laughs> yeah. But, <laughs> literally like, Almost every girl in the industry will kind of label, will use one of those labels to, def- to define themselves. Okay. It'll, I mean, it'll literally be in their Twitter bio. Mm-hmm. So I, I was kind of being a bit cheeky. I knew I knew that would rile up, ruffle up some feathers, but uh, I went because I was in I was actually in Spain, no Portugal at the time when I tweeted it. Went to bed. It, the Americans saw it, and I woke up the next morning to about nine hundred Twitter notifications. Wow. It just it, it just exploded around <gasps> the industry, and everyone was like, "Cancel this guy! Cancel this guy! Cancel this guy!" Like shit, just trying to shit on my reputation and stuff. Like yeah. And that, but it was kind of like it was it was good because I I was kind of like had like one foot still in it yeah a little bit and that was all I needed. like that was the confirmation like ah this is the this is what you, like you wanted you wanted free speech Sterling mm-hmm. here's your free speech mm-hmm. go did you get like a call from your manager yeah yeah and did yeah. he say you're basically shit out of work yeah okay yeah and then you just kept going I'm mean, yeah. that yeah yeah I I, make, I I built a, I built a business off what I know how to teach. Yeah, and I'm an I'm a, I'm a quite quite a good teacher, and I have a I actually have a scientific background as well. Okay, so like I'm able to pull on a whole bunch of resources, and I'm like, you know what, this is gonna be a challenge, but mm-hmm. I'll make it work, and I have I'm very happy with it. So. Do you think porn is a net good or net negative? Net negative, okay. easily easily a net negative. Is that weird having that opinion? Being that, how long did you do porn for? Five five years. Five years. Yeah. Is it weird having that opinion, having done it? Yeah, it's a bit weird because it's. I look at the way I look at it now is like. I don't. I can't. I can't regret having done it because if I hadn't have done it, I wouldn't have been in a position to like have learned a bunch of stuff. Okay. To help guys like biohacks and things like that that I'd learned from like older veterans of the game, like what like what to eat, what supplements to take, like how to exercise, all this sort of stuff. I had to learn in order to be able to teach it to the average guy to help his sex life. So I can't. I can't regret it like that. But I just the way I look at it now is like I'm just trying to make up for like the damage I did. Okay. Because it's not. It's not. Like the the only context I you might be able to argue that like kind of good is to spite like for couples to watch to kind of like spice things up a bit again mm-hmm. and they were like watching it together and like yeah. kind of creating a fantasy and just and redirecting that sexual energy into their relationship. Mm-hmm. You can make an argument for that, mm-hmm. but in general, like especially like internet free man like that is horrific. It's on every on every kid's phone like easily accessible. Yeah. Like, Paul, like when I was growing up, it was like, I remember we, me and some friends, we went down to the tip, like the local garbage dump, because <laughs> one of the kids knew 
that the local news agency had dumped a bunch of nudie mags okay. somewhere <laughs> in the tip. Yeah. And we went around like half a day scrounging it and we eventually found like a pile of like this magazine and we all took one. And that was like our masturbation material as teenagers for about six years. Right. Whereas now it's like, the average guy today has seen more naked women than like Genghis Khan would have seen in his lifetime. Right. Which is ridiculous. The human, the male brain isn't really made for that level of sexual exposure. I don't think it's, it's, it's a dangerous thing we're playing with.